Hello everyone, my name is Mengs, and today I am going to be answering one of the most frequently asked questions on my channel. And that is, Mengs, how do I apply a patch to an emulator game? So, there are many different reasons for wanting to do this. The most common is to apply a translation patch to a Japanese game. But also, sometimes, you may want to play a hacked Fire Emblem game, or any other hacked game for that matter. Like, for example, let's say you want to play a Sacred Dawn. It's a Fire Emblem hack made by Mage Knights. Um, you will need to apply a patch to a already existing game. Because a hack is essentially a changed version of the game. So, I cannot give you any links in this video, because YouTube has a tendency of shutting down videos with links on them. So instead, I thought I'd just fraps myself getting a translation patch for Fire Emblem 5, applying it to a room, and then I can just show you guys how it's done. I'm going to show you where to download the programs and how to get them, so... First things first. We need to go to Google. Everything is found on Google. If I have to tell you to Google something, you're not looking hard enough. So, there are two programs we need, or we really just need one, but I will show you both the programs I use for, for patching. The first program is named Lunar EPS. This is a program mainly used to patch Super Nintendo files. It's this one at the top right here. If you don't get this result, then try to find this one. So right here, you download it by clicking here. You need WinSip or WinRAR in order to extract the file. So just save it to your computer and extract it and you should have Lunar EPS. The other program I use is mainly for Game Boy Advance games and it's just called NUPS. It's also the one at the top right here. So you download it right here. Now I have it so I don't need to download it or extract it, but I trust I don't need to tell you guys how to do this. So, so just save it to your computer, extract it, and you should have now have NUPS. Okay, so now that we have the patching programs, we need two things. We need a room file, which is basically an emulator game, and then we need the patch itself. Now, depending on what patch you need, you're going to have to look for it yourself. But let's say I want a Fire Emblem 5 room. Well, I will just Google Fire Emblem 5 room. Now, there are multiple results here, and there are a lot of crappy sites on the internet, so you might have to do some digging and... For the love of God, you need to have a good antivirus program. Because sometimes when you enter these crappy sites, you might get attacked with spyware and the likes. So it is a little bit risky. But if you have, uh, let's say, I have Symantec right here. Uh, at least, yeah, I have Adware and Symantec protecting my computer, so I'm pretty safe. But just a heads up if you want to go dig into these crazy sites. But usually it's the first result that you get right here. Here is a really good site, actually, Emmer Paradise. I really, I really recommend this page right here. So, let's go back. So, now that you have your room, you need a patch. So, how to find the patch? Well, that's up to you, but personally, I just Google Fire Emblem 5 Translation Patch. Now, it actually points us towards Serene's Forest, which is a very legit site. Uh, you can go in there without any issues. Uh, Serene's Forest is the best Fire Emblem site on the internet if you want um, if you want patches and the like. It's a little bit slow to get into sometimes, but uh... so this thread right here is actually a really good thread. I know it because it contains every single translation patch uh, for the Japanese games. It takes a long time to get in here, though. There we go. So this is a good site. You can bookmark it. Uh, here you can find the translation patches to Fire Emblem 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 6, actually, I think. Yeah, sort of seals. So the one we're looking for here, Fire Emblem Tracia 776. We can find it right here. Just click the download link and extract it to your computer. So, I'm going to enter this uh, folder that I've created here temporarily, just to show you guys how to use Lunar EPS. So here we have Lunar EPS, we have a room, and we have a patch. Now, I must really stress this, before you apply a patch, always copy and make a backup of your room. If the patch is corrupted, or in some way things go wrong, you will destroy your room. So never do this to your main room with your save files on it. Always have a new fresh room and make a backup back off, back off actually, backup copy of it. So, you open Lunar EPS, and NUPS is exactly the same way. They are very similar, so I don't need to, need to show you to use both. You press Apply EPS Patch, and we need to find the folder. Here is the patch. So first it asks you to find the patch, and then it will ask you to find the room. You press the room, 
and the file was successfully patched. It's that simple. So next time uh, you open the game, it will be translated. If not, you need to find a new room and a new translation patch. Sometimes rooms and translation patches are not compatible. There are US versions, there are Japanese versions, there are a lot of different files. So you might have to do a little bit of digging, but for me this worked the first time. So if you just use Google and use your head, you shouldn't have any troubles doing this. And as I said, this applies both for applying translation patches and for playing hacks. So hopefully this should give you what you need to go and play some hacks of your own.